Geraldo Rivera, who has been a friend of Trump's and so on and so forth, although he has has had his criticisms of Trump as well. Geraldo Rivera is slapping MAGA's and Trump supporters with a reality check about Donald Trump and pardons and Joe Biden's pardon of Hunter Biden. Geraldo Rivera took to Twitter or as we might now know it X and Geraldo tweeted or he put out an excretion as we now refer to them where he said about Joe Biden's pardon of Hunter Biden, quote, most dads, including this one, would do what Joe Biden did. Blood is thicker than water. He was willing to tarnish his honor and reputation to save his child who he believed was being shafted too bad. But it's not like he appointed him ambassador to France and Geraldo Rivera in, you know, Every once in a while, Geraldo says something that I find interesting or, or kind of well put. Geraldo Rivera pointing out that, listen, Joe Biden's pardon of Hunter Biden arguably hurts his reputation. He said he wouldn't pardon him, and now he does. But Geraldo makes two important points. Number one, that any dad would do it. Almost no fathers in the United States are in the position of being able to pardon their children, almost no one. And Joe Biden happens to be in that position for what is it? Another seven weeks or something like that, Uh, six weeks, eight weeks, something like that. And he did what Geraldo says he would have done and any father would do. But Geraldo goes a step further and he says, when you pardon your son, you're not allowing them to buy a position of influence and power. Charles Kushner, the father of Jared Kushner, Trump's son in law, who, by the way, Charles Kushner, a former convicted felon already pardoned by Trump. Trump not only pardoned family member Charles Kushner, but he's making him the making him the ambassador to France. So the argument here is if you were concerned about what Biden did, How are you not absolutely and doubly furious about what Donald Trump did when it comes to Charles Kushner? Now, I want to go a little further. A lot of you wrote to me yesterday. Yesterday, when we talked about Biden pardoning Hunter, I said, I am against this in principle. I'm against the pardoning of friends, family, et cetera, in principle. I don't believe Joe Biden should interfere in the uh, judicial process. He didn't. Joe Biden said he wasn't going to pardon Hunter, and now he did. At the same time, we have to acknowledge that things have changed. We now know that the guy Trump wants to see as FBI director, firing, by the way, the FBI director he previously selected, Christopher Wray, who is in the middle of his 10 year term. If Trump gets his way and Cash Patel becomes FBI director, Cash Patel has pledged dozens of times to go after Trump's political adversaries. He would go after the Bidens. He would almost certainly try to find more stuff on Hunter Biden. That is a material change from a year ago. We now know that Trump's claims that he's going to weaponize the judiciary uh, and the intelligence community is becoming a reality with Cash Patel. So to the people that are now flipping out, uh, number one, Why is your condemnation today so much greater towards Biden than it has been for Trump pardoning Charles Kushner, making him ambassador to France now? Now, I still don't like it. I don't if we zoom out, I want to try to explain this in the in the most accurate possible way. If we zoom out, if you say to me, is it a feature or a bug to have presidents uh, pardon family members and friends on their way out of office. I don't like it. It's if you said, David, construct a country. How would you organize separation of powers? How would you do this? How would you do that? And would you let presidents pardon their friends and family on the way out of office? No, that's not like a a feature of a democracy that I would choose. But I understand as a father what Joe Biden is doing here, particularly when you see Cash Patel. Now, uh, I, I think it's important to mention There are a number of presidents that have pardoned relatives. Uh, Abraham Lincoln is one of them. Abraham Lincoln pardoned, commuted or rescinded the convictions of 343 people. One of them was Emily Todd Helm, 
the wife of Confederate General Benjamin Hardenhelm and half sister of Lincoln's own wife, Mary Todd Lincoln. Bill Clinton has done it. Uh, Donald Trump has done it. And yes, now Joe Biden has done it. So I don't like it. It's not unique. It's understandable. And the imbalance in how Hunter Biden has been gone after, how that came, you know, essentially a victimless gun crime doesn't mean it's OK. Prosecuted as a felony in this way almost never happens. It does seem as though there was particular special treatment, and I mean special from the standpoint of bad rather than good. So uh, Geraldo with a completely accurate reality check. Uh, and if what Biden did is to be as egregious as what Trump has done, Biden should appoint Hunter to some kind of cushy job on his way out of office, something which I'm not a betting man, but I would bet Joe Biden is not going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we are over. I got the updated numbers. We are at three thousand eight hundred and seven pre orders of my forthcoming book, The Echo Machine. When we get to four thousand pre orders, I will give away some more copies, maybe five or six. Last time we gave away seven copies of the book on Blue Sky. I hope you're following me on Blue Sky, davidpackman.com slash Blue Sky. It's the non magified new version of Twitter. So we'll be giving away some books on Blue Sky. You can pre order the book at davidpackman.com slash echo. Let's take a quick break. We've got some great stuff on the show, some tough stuff. I'm admitting there's some tough stuff on today's show, but I think we're all adults here, most of us, and uh, we're going to be able to handle it. So stay with me. I'll be right back. Staying motivated and eating healthy during the holidays can be a challenge. That's why I love our sponsor, AG1. I don't always carefully plan every single meal, so I know I'm getting the exact right amount of every vitamin and nutrient every day. That's why I start the morning with a scoop of AG1 before my cappuccino. I mix AG1 into a glass of cold water. That's it. Tastes good. One scoop. I get an entire day's worth of 75 high quality vitamins and minerals and probiotics from whole food sources. The travel packs are a lifesaver when on the go. You know, I would not promote the bogus supplements with the crazy claims. This is really simple. AG1 is a simple product. You get your vitamins and nutrients in a simple form rather than messing with a diff million different tablets and capsules and just get it all together in one shot. This new year, try AG1 for yourself. Great time to start a new habit. AG1 is offering new subscribers a free $76 gift when you sign up. You'll get a welcome kit, a bottle of D3K2, and five free travel packs in your first box. Go to drinkag1.com/pacman. The link is in the description.